Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, and in today's video, we're going to talk about six courtship rules that I think all women should probably know. And if this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of this video in order to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So let's get started. Six courtship rules. So we, um, there used to be this book out there called The Rules. Maybe you uh, have heard of it. Maybe you've seen it. Back in the 1990s, it was like the book to have for women on dating. And it gave a bunch of rules. I think those rules are outdated. Not only are they outdated, I think that um, some of them aren't really very good from the beginning. And a lot of guys know about these rules now. And so they're much, much less uh, impactful, I think, on guys who are uh, knowledgeable about this kind of stuff. Um, maybe for some older couples and old, you know guys that uh, don't really know about this stuff, haven't really done the research on it. Um, but I know a lot of guys have, and I know personally a lot of guys who have. So um, let's talk about some rules that I think that might be better anyway for you to follow uh, if you want a long-term committed relationship with a guy. So rule number one is that uh, you should encourage a man to chase you and pursue you. So uh, th there's kind of this big myth out there that um, you should do this thing where you act like you're disinterested in the guy or uninterested or that you shouldn't show him that you like him or something like that. And I just think that's really, really bad advice. So most guys aren't you know, most guys are, uh, you know, one of their biggest nightmares is ending up in the friend zone. And so if, um, if you want a guy to chase and pursue you, he has to uh, feel like you like him. And so you have to show him that you like him. And um, another thing that goes along with this is giving him things to pursue you with, right? So um, a, a big part of why a man commits to a woman is investment. So he has to invest in you from a physical, emotional, uh, mental, and time standpoint. And so um, you have to give him ways to invest in you if you want him to commit to you in the long run. So rule number two is something that um, that's called mirroring. I think you should uh, do mirroring with a guy. So if a guy pulls away, this is one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of women make is that when a guy pulls away or he's got something else going on or whatever, um, women tend to move forward, right? They tend to end up chasing a guy. They end up um, kind of uh, moving into that space that was kind of created when a guy pulled back. And uh, if you do that, you're more likely to just keep pushing him away. It's like um, uh, two magnets or maybe gravitational poles. You you know move close, it moves further away. He, he will move further away if you do that. And so instead what you want to do is mirroring, which is um, just uh, mirror how much he's um, – putting in there, you know, his interest level. So if, if he's pulling back or if, or if he's, you know, doing something where he's not fully engaged, instead of moving forward, you need to relax and lean back and let him have some space. And that'll be such a better uh, way of doing things than moving forward there. So rule number three is creating a, um, creating a life for yourself, creating uh, control for yourself. So one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of women make is they end up, uh, they do this thing where they say they give their all to a relationship and a man ends up taking them for granted after that. And what they end up really doing is they end up uh, making their happiness, making their love, making their um, feelings of uh, uh, basically all their feelings reliant on on this relationship or this man that they're in this relationship with. And, and I think you'll do a lot better if you focus on creating, making yourself a priority. If you focus on uh, making yourself happy, making yourself enjoy life, um, then instead of it being this kind of um, 
uh, almost like parasitic relationship where you're just latching on to this guy and um, getting all of your uh, uh, all of your needs met through him, you can actually experience a lot of this stuff for yourself. And then when he comes to the relationship, he'll feel like he needs to step up in order to um, uh, really be a part of that with you. Rule number four is to have some mystery about you. And, and, you know, there's a lot of kind of tactical ways to do this, but I think that the best way to have mystery, and if you haven't heard, being uh, having mystery to you is really, really attractive uh, for men. And so um, if you want to have that sense of mystery about you, instead of doing like kind of tactical game playing type stuff, uh, my suggestion is that you step into your femininity, right? Because being... Uh, feminine is incredibly mysterious to a guy. Being masculine, you know, doing masculine things um, is not mysterious to a guy because a guy gets that stuff and it's not even attractive to a guy. Um, and being feminine is incredibly attractive and mysterious and awesome in so many different ways to a guy. Um, and I think you're much better off going that direction uh, to create mystery and intrigue than you are um, playing games or doing anything else. Rule number five is to not have sex with him until he's starting to fall in love with you. So there's a lot of different like rules out there. Um, I think the the Feinstein uh, the the fine uh, the rules the the book they they had like three dates or something like that. That's a horrible rule. Um, and then there's like the Steve Harvey rule, which is like the ninety day rule, which is another just horribly horribly horrible rule. Um, instead, a good rule to have would be to wait until he's getting emotionally invested in you. So he's open, opening up and he's connecting with you in an emotional way. And he's building that uh, his, his level of attraction and desire goes into a deeper um, emotional investment in you. And so... Um, when he starts doing that, he'll start to fall in love with you. And that's when um, it's a better time to have sex with him because you're much less likely to end up just a casual relationship to him. Um, whereas if you are uh, you sleep with him before um, he's really invested emotionally, you're much more likely to end up just being in some kind of friend with benefits relationship that you can't get out of. So rule number six is to encourage a man to be who he is and really stop trying to change him. Um, this is one of the another one of the biggest nightmares that men have is women coming in and trying to make him act different, trying to make him be different. A lot of women kind of justify this by being like, "I'm trying to help him grow and be a better man." Well, um, you know, who he is as a better man isn't up to you. It's up to him. And um, just the same way as, you know, if a man came to you and was like, this is who you need to start being, you know, you'd be like, you're a jerk, you know, like, how about you let me be uh, who I want to be? And instead of trying to change me to be who you want me to be, how about you encourage me to grow into who I'm trying to become, which is what really men, um, uh, which is a thing that men can really fall in love with is you... Uh, connecting with him and believing in him, not falling in love with this kind of uh, image of him in the future, but you know, accepting him for who he is and believing in him and um, showing him that you believe that he can become that man that he wants to become instead of trying to change him into becoming the man that you want him to become. And if you have that as your goal, you're, it's going to be infinitely more beneficial to both of you, um, short term and long term, than it will if you try to change him and try to make him be the kind of man you want him to be. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.